It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. You started it. Oh, man. This is... This is... They see us.
Ember. Keep it shot, but by me a minute, and I think I can get the weapons online. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Now's not the time for attitude, Rangers. Remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no quitting here, there's no going back. All right, move out.
on her head. It's gonna be me who bring it to Jared. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the Deluge? Ha! <laughs> You're more ignorant than I thought. Bastards! <sighs> I told you I'd kill her! position and we'll... Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Why didn't you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey! He... He's dead! Damn right! Gotta get poor Joey back to AC. Are you kidding yourselves? We are done! Just 
let me go. Good. We don't need you. Like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> My big brother. He'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. I guess you don't know your scripture. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it no one's coming to save us! Holy shit! They done killed Jared! Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Shoot! This 
Damn it! 
Well, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> and it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming.
Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Damn it. <coughs> Damn. Bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. That brings me to the secret orders. Only me. Got them from... Got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an... Sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to... Find them. Mm. Not much yet. He's the boss of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Part of the Ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but, but she found her way home. I can't... I can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. All right. Do it. Oh. Whoa.
Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Two. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Be my guest. Well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I understand your anger, but that won't happen. I still need the service General Woodson agreed to, and you won't get your supplies until you complete it. Thank you. And once again, I apologize. Now, oh, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll- Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. No sudden moves around the Patriarch. Don't let me hold you up. You have business in your new headquarters. Damn it. <laughs> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules.
Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ugh. Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <coughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently... I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen, Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver, and Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them.
the last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Good. What else do you need? What do you want to know? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats. Terrorized the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared, because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what, remember? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Crazy cultists, worship an old U.S. president as a god. Trouble is, they're the only ones who know how to refine oil anymore, so we gotta play nice. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is... She'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. At 
At least I raised one. You'd better. Anything else? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Cocky, huh? Well, cocky's good. As long as you can back it up. All right, let's move out. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. We're in it. Shoot, shoot! Shoot! They saw us! We can handle- Get ready. Get ready. Are you- If you want a brawl, knock yourselves out.
Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're gonna want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the Marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs> get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing 
Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take it an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. Don't shoot! Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and... We've got nowhere to go. Please... Will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there. Under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said... yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. No, seven months since the bombs fell. A 
um, had an incident at the west gate. Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire. Standing orders. Murders to be shot on sight. They didn't look like much to me from 80 meters.
Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Oh man, uh, that's uh, some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. Systems act, systems active. Greetings, Rangers.
Marshals, do you work for the Patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters. One by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him too. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. Please. Help my son! The deluge of blood is coming for you this all! This is scum! The de Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Magistrate's a hard man. 
I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Nice talking to you. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Quan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions, like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct, are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Proceed. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The Patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. We'll have our revenge. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Neelius Dorsey lives. He'll kill y'all. How can you be dead? You rangers are heroes. I'm going to tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. The thank you. Of blood is coming for you all! Ah, 
Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. It's just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. You flaunt it in my face? You are ruffians. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but... We'll... well, now you must be the rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm gonna insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. It's a project of the Ward family, a showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious.
Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. At last! <clears throat> Hey, Rangers! How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? Extra, extra! Cowardly attack on Colorado Springs! Oh, darn it, Martha. Why else would I even... Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. They're Dorsey's! They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. A scrawny old man with a shotgun? Uh, hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Uh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed! Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> 